Hello everybody, this is Kanda the Smart Home and my name is Ali Reza. In this video, I have Sonoff TH16, which is a Wi-Fi smart switch. Using this device, you can control electric devices. The maximum current this device can tolerate is 16 amp. Using this device, you can add temperature and humidity sensor to it, so you can control and monitor temperature or humidity of your environment. Let's start pairing the device with Evelink app and see how to use it. Before that, I thank Sepehman Avar Group and Artman Company for supporting me to make this video. Let's start. Let's start with unboxing the device. This is the device. A quick manual. In order to use it, remove this cover using a screwdriver. Here we have terminals of the device. These two terminals, neutral, must be connected to them. This one, hot wire, as you see here, hot wire must be connected here. And the last one, this one, is the output of the device. Easily I connect wires to it. We can add only temperature sensor or temperature and humidity sensor. In this video, I have temperature and humidity sensor. You can get it from the Sonoff website. Connecting these sensors to the device is easy. That's it. Okay, let's pair the device with Evelink app. First of all, I connect the power of the device. After powering on, the device will enter the quick pairing mode during the first use. The Wi-Fi LED indicator changes in a cycle of two short and one long flash. The device will exit the quick pairing mode if not paired within three minutes. If you want to enter this mode again, please long press the manual button for about five seconds until the Wi-Fi LED indicator changes in a cycle of two short and one long flash and then release the button. While the device is in pairing mode on Evelink app, tap on plus, tap on quick pairing, select add one device. In this page, select the Wi-Fi you want to connect to it and enter its credential. Then tap on next. Wait till pairing is done. The device is added. Its default name is thermostat. You can set a location for it. For example, I choose bedroom. Then tap on done. Pairing is done. You can turn on the device or set it to off. Also, you can manually set it to on and off. And we have its feedback immediately on the Evelink app. Let's tap on thermostat. We have the temperature sensor and humidity. I tap on three dots at the top right corner of the screen. 
Here we enter to the setting of the device. We can change the location of device. We can change its name here. Enable push notification. And also we can set power on state. By default, it is set to off. We can set it to on or last state, which last state is the best one. Do not forget to tap on save. Let's tap on auto. Here we can choose to control the temperature or humidity. Let's select temperature. If temperature higher than a value, we can set it to on or off. In this video, I want to use it as a heater. So if temperature goes above a value, the heater must be turned off. Let's enter 25 degree, then tap on save. Temp lower than, I select this one. As a heater, when temp gets lower than a value, it must be turned on. So I select turn on and the value is 23. Tap on save. For using it as a cooler, when the temperature reaches a higher value, this item, it must be turned on. And when the temperature reaches lower than the second value, it must be turned off. Safe. Also by disabling auto, you can set the schedules. You can set timer and loop timer. Let's connect the device to the heater. I have connected the Sonoff TH16, which is thermostat, to an electrical heater. The electrical heater has two switches. I turn both of them on and set its thermostat to the highest point. This is the wire of heater. I have used an outlet. These two wires are connected to this outlet in order to connect the heater to thermostat. On evening app, I tap on thermostat, select auto. We see that temperature higher than 25 degree, the heater is off and temperature lower than 23, the heater is on. Temperature is 23.6 at the moment. Let's change the lower temperature to 24 in order to test the thermostat. Do not forget to tap on save. You see the heater is on. If temperature reaches to 25, the temperature sensed by this sensor, the heater will be turned off. This is an example of using Sonoff TH16. Also, you can disable the thermostat. and control the thermostat manually. It's off. It's on. You can use a schedules to control the thermostat or let's say your heater. You can set timer and also you can use loop timers. Wiring the thermostat is simple. We have two neutrals. One of them, I connected the main neutral to it. We have input L. I connected hot wire to L. 
the second end terminal I connected one of the wires of my heater to it and I connected the other wire of heater to in this example I used an outlet to connect the electrical heater to thermostat you can cut the plug of your heater and connect it directly to thermostat son of TH16 I hope you have enjoyed this video if you have any question do not hesitate to leave comments thank you for watching if you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't done already you can support me by buying me a coffee i'll see you in the next video